Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving if you're noticing SR task is experiencing high disk usage. So this is the system protection background task service on your Windows computer and it's used to manage the volume shadow copy service as well as the Microsoft software shadow copy provider service. So Basically, this service should be running if you're creating or editing restore points on your computer. So we're going to go about how to hopefully reduce disk usage if you're having this issue. And we're going to go and start by opening up the start menu. Just go ahead and left click on the start button one time. Type in services. Best match to come back with services right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. And now you want to locate the sys main service. So SYS main right here. If you're using an older version of Microsoft Windows, it might say super fetch. And we're going to go ahead and double click on that. You can see I've already personally have disabled it on the system. So you want to disable it on your system here. So set it to disabled and then stop the service. You alternatively could also set it to manual as well. So you have those options there. So again, it, depending on what you want to do. Honestly, I usually disable it, and if I wanted to ever re-enable it, you can. Generally speaking, though, people do debate, you know, how effective this is. I have noticed, you know, a decrease in performance of the service, personally. Um, it seems to be pretty subjective online, and, you know, you're going to hear people saying that you should have it enabled, you shouldn't have it enabled. I usually just disable it, personally. I'm just going to put that out there so there is some disagreement on that, but generally I usually disable it and then I select apply and OK. And now I would just restart your computer and see if that has resolved the problem. Your computer is acting a little bit more responsibly. Another thing we can go ahead and do here would be to open up the start menu and type in CMD. Best match to go back with command prompt. You want to go right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you want to go type in SFC, space, and then a forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word with that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin running the system file checker utility. We'll take a couple minutes to run, so just please be patient.
Okay, so you can see it did find corrupt files and successfully repaired them. So I would also suggest closing out of here and then restart your computer. So we are back here, so hopefully that should have been able to resolve your problem at this point. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.